Okay, I had a request for I Saw the Light on the banjo. This is the old Hank Williams gospel classic tune that's become a bluegrass standard over the years. Now I do the uh, I do the entire song, verse and chorus, on my sheet. Of course, it's optional whether you do the chorus or not, but I'll explain it uh, through verse and chorus, and then you can uh, take your choice. Okay, let's get started. We'll start with the uh, open fourth string. A couple of quarter notes there. I'm playing this with my thumb. And then five, three, four, one. I'm going to fret the fourth string there. And then I'm going to do a three with my thumb and a pinch. And then this slide coming up, two to four. That's the same right hand roll as the Cripple Creek slide, which goes to the third fret. Uh, in this case, I go to the fourth fret, like so. So that first half of part one is four, four, five, three, four, one, three, pitch, slide, and then do that again. Like so. And by the way, you can go back to Cripple Creek and, and do this two to four slide if you'd like to. I don't know if I mentioned that in my original Cripple Creek video or not, but that's that's always an option. Do instead of the two to three slide, do the two to four slide. The difference here with your left hand is with the two to three slide I can slide up just my fingertip without moving the rest of my hand. Uh, with the two to four slide, I pretty much have to move thumb and everything, uh, which is a little more difficult. So you can work on that. Okay, so part one again. Four, four, five, three, four. Pinch, slide, and again. comes my part two, which is around a C chord mostly. So I'm going to hammer onto the third string here with my second finger. And my first finger is going to be on the second string behind the first fret. So I'm going to really hammer both of them on at the same time, but I'm only playing the third string. So I really only hammer you here is... Is the uh, third string hammering on. Put both those fingers on at the same time. Now leave my first finger on as I'm going through this. You see, I've still got it on. So I did a three, two, three, one, five, three, four, one. I'm fretting the fourth string there on the second fret. Then I open three, a couple of four rolls. Hammer on again, same hammer on. Open four and three. Pinch. Both those have a pinch. So part one and two together. A wonder so Coming up on part three, it starts the same as part one. Second half starts the same again. But now instead of doing the two to four slide on the third string, I'm doing a two to five slide on the fourth string. Now the trick to that is you want to get it quick enough doesn't slow down your right hand because your right hand needs to be uh, like starting on the third string there would be three four three one five three one three four three one five three one if you're doing open strings it'd be three four three one five three one so you want the slide to be fast enough so it doesn't slow you down but if it's too fast, you kind of lose the effect of the slide. Now 
I kind of want to have a little more a little more juice to it. More like that. Okay, so part three again. Um, let me see. Then Jesus came like angel. Part three. Part four starts with a double hammer. I'm going to do both of these two, one, two, one, or the strings. I'm hammering from the second to the third fret each time. I'm going to hit both of the, both of the second strings with my thumb, like that. <clears throat> two, one, two, one are the strings, and hammering on the two to from the second fret to the third fret. Now my next lick, I'm going to move my index finger over to the first string, and then open, and another Cripple Creek slide here, and now this four diverse roll, <clears throat> it starts with uh, my second finger on the third fret. On that B flat there on the on the third string third fret. My first finger is up on the um, first string second fret. Now on the way back, I do that pull off there. This three to two pull off we've seen in Fireball Mail, we've seen it in Foggy Mountain Breakdown, and it's just all over the place. So. This four diverse, forward, reverse. If you don't know what a four diverse roll is, go back to your open string rolls page and that's one of the first ones you'll learn. And then a three, pinch, four, pinch. And that's the end of part four. And actually it's the end of the verse. Now we go into the chorus. <clears throat> which is um, does the same two to four slide except now it's on another four diverse roll and on the way back I just goes to the second fret so slide second fret now I'm doing my Cripple Creek slide again here and three pinch and do that again all that again The next line of my course is also the second line of the verse. So I'm going back to part two, back to the C. Five, three, one, five, three, one, hammer. Four, three, four, pitch, three, pitch. Now I go into part three again. Double hammer, five, two, one, five, slide, and my four diverse leg, three, pinch, four, pinch. That's the end of the chorus. So um, on your sheet, it, it does part five, and then it just says repeat parts two through four, which is what you do which is what I just did for the chorus, okay? <clears throat> so slowly all the way through uh, verse and chorus, we're going to start at the beginning. Ready, two, three, go. the 
course. Slide. and chorus. Part 5 starts the chorus, then the chorus continues by repeating parts 2, 3, and 4 again. So, and a lot of songs do that. They'll re kind of repeat the melody, um, the, the chorus, at least several lines of the chorus will repeat lines that were already, already in the melody. So uh, it's just kind of a songwriter's trick that they've done for, I don't know, a lot of fiddle tunes do that too. So let's go back to the top. A little bit quicker this time. Let's start putting the whole thing together. And again, I'm doing the verse and the chorus. If you want to do just the verse, stop at the end of part four and start singing the thing. Okay? And there are, uh, um, you know, little fill licks and things you can stick you know, to fill out the extra space if you want to add measures to the end of the verse while the person's getting ready to sing or whatever. Okay, this is assuming that you'll just go straight into it and start singing it. Okay, from the top, fourth string. <laughs> speed it up a little more and then we'll do it one more time and speed it almost up to real speed see how we can do with it <clears throat> ready one two ready go <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, hope this helps you learn this song, hope you enjoy it, hope you have fun picking it.